and welcome to another episode of Experts Speak. I'm Michael DeLon, and today I am talking with Sean Tepper. And well, Sean, thanks for uh, squeezing me into your schedule, man. Thanks for the invite, Michael. I appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. This is going to be a really intriguing conversation because Sean has created this this whole platform, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to describe it because it's really way beyond me. But he helps you manage your investments with less less risk so that you can actually make more money or something like that. So um, mm -hmm. I want to find out more. I want to dive in. But as we get there, Sean, tell me, how in the world did you get to doing what you do today? Yeah, I'll try to keep the background uh, short and sweet to a degree, but it was <laughs> a interesting journey. Um, long story short here, the platform helps retail investors. So everyday people like you and I helps them manage yeah. their own investments. But here's how it started. My background is about 15 years in software engineering. I had a business in the late 2000s, just an agency building software and doing some websites, maybe a little social media for small and mid-sized businesses. Um, it was a really tough experience because I didn't make like any money. It was the recession and nobody wanted to spend, right? Yeah. Um, and, and it was tough, but we did grow a little bit in 2010. We went through a merger because we started bringing on some bigger clients. Now when a merger happened, people think, ooh, he made some money. No, nope, didn't make any money. It, <laughs> <laughs> it was literally like, we're going to wipe out your debts and liabilities in your business. And I was like, you know what? That's enough of a win right there. But I will say I, I thought it was a, a failure because I never really got to build up any um, financial base, if you will. And and so I was a little frustrated with myself, but I knew the type of business, this was the benefit, as I learned what type of business model is scalable, what's not. We worked with like everything from like e-commerce to manufacturing okay. to hair salons to landscapers, right? Okay. Oh, <laughs> all yeah. Across, yeah, all across the board, serving everybody. Um, and I knew SaaS, software as a service, which is think like your MailChimp or Constant Contact yeah. or even Net Netflix is a subscription model. I'm like, I want to create that model, but I didn't have any ideas. So I decided to branch away path of least resistance, I'll just go work for large companies. Some of the large companies I work for are like GE and Kohler, but that's when I got into investing. It was about 2010, 2011, okay. and I started what's called angel investing, which is just investing in regular tech businesses around my area. These are not public companies that you can buy stocks in, but just like somebody starts a tech business, I'm there to help you out and help build the business. Did that for five years in parallel to working with big businesses and same situation. I didn't make any money. I didn't lose any money. It was kind of like a, I made some, I lost some, but I'm like, I could be swinging for the fences at these tech ideas for 20 years and not make, <laughs> not make anything. So I'm, I'm right enough. Something has to change. So I'm like, let's do things the Warren Buffett way. What is he doing? And I knew that him and Charlie Munger, his business partner, I know they're beating the market, but they're not using emotions. They're not gambling, right? These are not guys that go to the casino and gamble the money, which tells me they're using some kind of logic. And I've, I've got a background in software engineering, so I'm, I try to think very logically, right? This tells me they're using some sort of math to start their process. So I started down the, the YouTube rabbit hole, read as many books as I could. <laughs> and there's a lot of fluff, a lot of noise, a lot of confusion out there, but I found a guy by the name of Phil Town, awesome guy, just a regular dude, and he wrote a few books. Those books are Rule One and Payback Time that really pointed me in the right direction. I kind of took about 70% of the math that's in his book, mm -hmm. books, I should say, put it into Excel, and as Warren Buffett teaches, and he teaches, you should be making 15% or more in the market. I'm like, okay, well, let's give this a shot. Put things to test, started making that or more is 15% the first year, 16% the next year, and then every year thereafter is closer to 50, 50%. Did that for four years, and then that's where things got interesting. This brings us almost to the end of the story here, but... <laughs> this is intriguing. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, okay, so maybe I have my SaaS idea, my software as a service idea. So I take this Excel sheet, which is pretty clunky, <laughs> and I start talking to some retail investors, again, regular people like us, as well as some institutions and some wealth managers. I'm like, check this out. What do you think of this? Here's what it's doing for me. And everybody was like, when are you going to turn this into a software so other people can use it? Finally, 10 years later, <laughs> I, 10 years later, I've got my, my business idea. And yeah, this was 2019. It took about a year to build the first version. We went live in 2020. 
now 2023, we have a little over 7,000 customers in 50 countries. So only only took 10 years to come up it's with that right. idea. <laughs> You're an overnight success, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's right. Uh, no, I remember somebody uh, asking like Willie Nelson one time. He's like, he's an overnight success. He's like, yeah, I just spent 30 years playing in honky tonks, right? Nobody sees that. Yes. The overnight. Wow. What great journey because that, that, that honestly, I mean, Sean, it, it parallels the journey that a lot of business owners have been in mm -hmm. and on in different ways. And, you know, I've been in my business 11 years. I've reinvented my business over a dozen times trying to get it just right. And then when you hit it, it's like, oh, yes, right. And then not that it's easy street, but you're locked in and you're going, I've got something that's very unique that can help a lot of people. And at the same time, I've been to your website. I'm skeptical. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Okay. Because yeah. explain what, what, all right. So, so the name of the company or the software, if, if I get it right, is ticker. Correct. Yep. T-Y-K-R, which I, I looked at them like, Oh, now that's not like really brilliant because you deal with like stocks and investing things. I'm going to let you unpack a little bit of, of sure. what it is at a high level. And then let's do, let's dive down and talk about things. Let's yeah, let's do it. And I'll, I'll, I'll kind of give you a peek behind the curtain as well, or, or talk you okay. through it, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, ticker, I, I have to say this T I C K E R.com was taken yeah. and T I K R was taken. So ticker T Y K R ended up being the option. So that's where the name. <laughs> right? I love it, man. It's different. It's unique. And yep. um, anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So what it does is it helps the retail investor. It doesn't serve institutions. Retail investors help them manage their own investments. So we have a really simple rating system. It does all the hard work for us. So we know a stock is either on sale, which is green or overpriced, which is red. And in between that, we call it watch, which is gray. And you want to look for green stocks. Those are stocks. And this is really simple, but boring investing. This is called value investing. So Warren Buffett okay. style, we don't go after the GameStops or the AMCs. Those type of businesses fail in our yeah. software. We look for strong businesses with good financials year over year over year. What it does is I'll give you a little context. We analyze five years of the fundamentals, which are like your, your revenue and your net profits. We look at debt, we look at assets. So there's a lot of data points, but overall, it's going to put a, a lot of rigor on its analysis to make sure we are buying strong businesses and we stay away from the bad ones. So like I said, the, the game stops of the world are going to fail, which is good. We want to avoid those. Um, now, what makes us a little different, there's three reasons. One is I kind of alluded to, it is probably the easiest to understand. And I don't take my word for it. We've got a, we got a 4.9 out of five on Trustpilot. Okay. So you should definitely see what our customers say. Again, don't, don't take anything I say. <laughs> you know, I always tell people, don't listen to me. Go listen to my customers. Amen. End of story, right? Um, so it's really easy to use. We made it that way. Number two is there's full transparency. I thought about taking the algorithm I wrote to put a patent on it. And then I was talking to my one of my partners in the business like, what if we flip this on his head and make it open source? And he's like, let's do that. So we actually show all the calculations and we tell people you can actually go create your own version of ticker. Of course, we hope you still stay with us, but right. people have the option where they can go build their own platform. And, and so that's reason number two. Reason number three is, and this is a big difference, you can see my portfolio. And you're not gonna see the dollar amounts, but you'll see the percentages of allocation. You can see what stocks I invest in. I let people know when I'm making a buy or sell. Mm -hmm. um, and that way people can literally, if they want, they can invest side by side with me. And some of the customers do, yeah. which is pretty cool. Um, but any other screener or platform out there, if you were to go to the owner and say, hey, can I see your portfolio? Guess what? You're not going to get an email response. <laughs> that's right, not a chance. <laughs> so that's that's how we're different, essentially. Okay, all right. So so bring this down to, to um, com Common Man Michael, okay? Yeah, yep. So I don't like the stock market, right? I, I don't understand the research. I don't understand how to pick companies. I don't understand, I just don't, right? You've taken all that, in a sense, off the table for me because you're doing it all through computer all algorithm all this stuff mm -hmm. so that i can go in with your platform and look at a stoplight red yellow green in a yep. sense pick my portfolio and i mean do i have to manage this every day do i have to become a, a no. day trader what, i mean talk to me about no. all these things because that's what's going through my head 
Yeah. So let's, let's, let's hit the myths right away. So there's, there's a difference between investing and trading. Trading is where you're, you're actually working for money. It's a job and 99%, and I have an article with the statistics, 99.9% of traders lose money. We are not traders. We're investors. We flip that equation where money is working for us. We put it in the stock market, compound interest works for us. So there's that. Um, with stock investing, again, we're buying safe businesses. So we want to make sure we put our money in and then you keep buying more every month. It's pretty simple. You can put money into a savings account, but unfortunately, as we know, your savings account is not keeping up with inflation. Inflation, yeah. right? Inflation hit 9.2% in you know, 2022, I think it was June. Whereas yeah. my bank account, my savings account at Chase has an interest rate of like 0.03. <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm not keeping up here. That's right. So, that's right. So it's that that's one myth. But yeah, good question there. Please continue with more around that. Yeah. So so um time. I mean, I I I run, oh, a, I run a company, dude. I don't have time to be checking <laughs> all the time. Here you go. So and this is I have to give Phil Town credit for this. 15 minutes a week is really what you need. You can log in, check your stocks, but ticker does the monitoring for you. Here's an example. When you're using the tool, you add stocks to your watch list. You can add anything you'd like, and then ticker monitors those stocks. So if something changes between that stoplight metaphor you gave, between on sale watch and overpriced, you get notified. So you know when to sell. You don't have to be logging in and looking at charts, and there's none of that. It does all the monitoring for you. So you can, of course, like me, we're building businesses. We have other things to do. And if you're not doing that, we like to think you're spending time with your family, because we're all about work-life balance. So I've got my own hobbies, my own family, stuff like that. So I want Ticker doing the heavy lifting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, my, my other question, and we're going to answer this later, but I'm just going to pose it to you now because this sounds really good, but I don't really have hundreds and thousands of dollars to invest in some program, yeah. right? So, I mean, come on. Okay. Easy to get started. 14 day free trial. Thereafter, you can upgrade to, I think we've got the price set at like 29 bucks a month, or you get a really big discount if you go for the yearly. And we are kind of playing with a, like a 33% now we may go 40 and we're kind of, we're exploring a, a even bigger discount, but this, that may soon, soon come around the corner. Yeah. So, but most people go with the yearly plan. Right. So $29 a month. Yeah. To be able to have access to this platform where your logarithm is doing all the analysis. I get to choose the stocks based on red light, yellow light, green light. Yep. And and I, I invest a whopping 15 minutes a month or a week, 15 minutes a week. So an hour at a month. Most. Yep. At most. I'm sure I could do more if I wanted to, but Lord knows I don't want to yeah. do that. And um the results talk a little bit about the results because you went back when you created this if i read on the website right you went kind of backwards two or three or four years and compared and and so should i expect because you know if i invest in the stock market i can probably get what, six or eight nine percent should i expect like ten twelve percent should i expect anything what should i and i know yep good good question so with the teachings of phil town and i've i've passed this forward to our audiences we should be aiming because we are only managing our own money we're not money managers managing 50 peoples or 100 peoples or 500 peoples we're only managing yourself if we're only managing our own money we should be aiming for 15 percent or more and i i i tested that and i tested that for five years before releasing this to the public my average returns are actually closer to 50 percent it's actually pretty easy to achieve i'll give some reasons why we're not investing in index funds, these bundles of stocks. We're not investing in mutual funds or ETFs. We invest in individual businesses and we make sure we're not investing any more than 15. Sometimes people go as high as 30, which Warren Buffett said, nah, you're getting close to too many. You wanna be focused. I have 10 stocks, full transparency. And some of my returns, when you buy in a down market, when it corrects, you can, I've made over 100%. COVID dip, for example, of that was March of 2020. We all remember that, yes. um, right? The market tanked about 30%. We teach a strategy in our platform called stockpiling. You want to be buying when everybody else is selling. If you can yeah. do that, your, market, your stocks take off like a rocket, and that's where you make the big returns. It's actually much easier than most people think. But yeah, you should be expecting 15% or more. You should be beating the market, and most people are that use our tool. Very, very fascinating. 
um, I'm trying to think of other other ideas and things. So it's a um, it's a way you could dare I say dabble a little bit. I mean, because I'm I'm totally honestly I'm stock market adverse, right? Because I've lost thirty percent or more twice in my life, and I watched my portfolio go, and I'm like, oh. Did right, you so sell? Huh? Um, eventually I did. I mean, because it, it was going to take so long. So we went to we went to a different thing that's the safer, that's better. Just because it took us so long, and I went, oh, I hate that. I'm risk averse. I'm liking what you're saying because they're you're you're buying individual businesses. I love that. Mm -hmm. I don't like the so help help somebody like me kind of get over this. And I don't. I'm not taking advice from a stockbroker. I'm just doing right. it myself. Right. Let, let's unpack that a little bit. Correct. Now, just so people know. Wealth managers, financial advisors, we do have people in that space that use the tool, but to set expectations and they will tell you directly, their job is not to make you money. Their job is to protect your money. If you already have a large amount of capital, let's say you sold a business or sold some real estate or something like that, you want to be working with an advisor because they're going to protect that capital. But if you're in a stage in your life where you're like, you know what, I'm not further enough along in my investment journey, I need to play catch up. That's where most people actually are. You want to be managing it yourself. You want to be using, I'm biased here, you want to be using ticker. Absolutely. Right, right, yeah. exactly. Now, you know, there are a lot of people that are afraid to do this and, and I will say this, the number one reason why people lose money in the market is not based on math skills, it's not based on intelligence, it's based on emotions. Yep. Now, I I don't know if you have ever heard this before, but have you ever heard the rule one philosophy? No. I'll, I'll give it to you, right? Okay. It relates to the movie Fight Club. We can tie to that real quick. But rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule one. There you go. The, the, the premise is, and I'll give you two quick case studies. I'll make it really quick. I don't lose money in the market. Yes, my stocks go down and they look negative, but they're not realized, meaning I do not sell. I ride out the wave. More importantly, I buy when I'm down and then I sell them when they get back above. This happened two stocks in the past. One is Callaway Golf. I'm a golfer, 2017, bought the stock. It turned to a red rating in ticker or my Excel sheet. I was now underwater on it, meaning I could have sold and took a loss, but I decided, you know what? Let's follow Warren Buffett and Phil Town's advice rule one and we're going to ride this out it took about three months for it to go back above the price it was three months and that's when i sold same thing happened with rollins rollins owns orkin so anybody yeah. who lives in southern states deals with termites and st <laughs> stuff like that same thing bought the stock it was a green rating it turned red i was now the stock price was down below my cost basis what i bought it for i could have sold it for a loss i could have got emotional and been like oh my gosh it's going down more and i'm like you know what i'm gonna ride this out and i think it was like six or nine months later it went back above my buy price and i sold it at that point for a profit so i refuse it's a discipline thing i refuse to lose money in the stock market dude i love it um the and the other the last question i want to i want to um ask you by the way um I love that. Well, I refuse to lose. Um, that, that that's going to be the title of your book, by the way. Refuse to lose, right? <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> um, you don't have to just. So I am talking to you. I'm intrigued here. I don't have to put all of my money in this thing. I could for twenty nine bucks a month. I can get in there and say, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play with five thousand dollars. Yep. I'm gonna take five grand. I'm gonna play with this for a few months until I get comfortable and see what I want to do. Is that accurate? Is that how most people get yeah, going? Yeah, we actually tell people start with like $1,000 or less. And your your mission in the beginning is not to make money. It's actually to build confidence. And we like to use like, let's say you're the you're the little kid. I, I grew up a swimmer. And the scariest moment when you're a swimmer is when you first get to the deep end of the pool, you're going out to the diving board of the 10 feet down, and yeah. it's your first time jumping in. You're really scared. You know, it's like, that's the moment you're buying your first stock. Like, oh my gosh, am I going to lose money? What's going to happen? Well, once you make that first jump into the deep end of the pool, guess what? It's pretty easy thereafter. All right, you bought your first stock. You just want to get comfortable. And after a month or two, that's when you can say, now let's start investing. You should be, and I emphasize this, this is not a one-time deal. Some people out there, they'll buy once and they'll let it sit for six months and 12 months. What you wanna do is the discipline of taking, we tell people 15 
the 50% of your paycheck and put it into your investments. You should be investing every single month. Now, if you can't do 15%, start small, start at like two or 3% or whatever and work your way up. But that, that is what makes the difference over five years and over 10 years, that discipline of constantly investing. That's interesting. Yeah, that, that's good because a lot of us, like we think, you know, I'm putting money in this investment. It's just going to sit there and it's going to grow over time. Yeah. What you're saying is it's one of, one of my marketing strategies or principles is consistency over yes. time. Yes. That's exactly yes. what you're talking about. Yes. Um, I love it, man. Sean, I wish we had about another hour or two because I have <laughs> whole list of questions and things, but I tell you what, let's do. Let's tell my audience where they can find about Ticker and see if they can beat me there so that we can look at it and tell them again, 14 day free trial or something like that. Yeah. for Go to ticker.com. It's T-Y-K-R.com. And if you ever want to reach me, I'm, I'm very active on LinkedIn. Just there's not too many Sean Teppers out there. So you can go there. Um, but yeah, it's a 14 day free trial. We do not ask for a credit card up front. It's just, you could log in with like Facebook or Google or just your email is fine. All right. I'm going to put that in the show notes, ticker, T-Y-K-R dot com. Uh, this is super in, um, intriguing to be able to manage your own investments with less risk, with a simple stoplight analogy um, of red, yellow, green, and try it for 14 days free, no credit card required. Okay. I I mean, can you make, can you put any more hurdles in the way for us? I mean, really, you're just, you're removing all the barriers to <laughs> right now. I'm saying, okay, there's got to be a way to stop this. So, um, That's the I goal. think my only barrier to entry is my wife, right? <laughs> so, um, Sean Tepper, thank you, man. This has been unbelievable. Um, I, I applaud you for, for getting your software as a service program out, for figuring it out and making it available to the, to the masses, to the common person like me who really doesn't understand that you're doing all the hard work and I'm, I'm really um, just really stoked about it. So thanks for, be, thanks for being my guest. Thanks for doing what you do. Great questions, Michael. I, I really appreciate being on your show.